company's name is Out of the Ashes, where she finds life, excuse me. Um, Coley and Patty Harris and Amara Melton are our speakers. Come on up. Good morning, my name is uh, Coley Harris. This is my son, Amar Melton. Amar representing uh, Out of the Ashes, where C finds light. Out of the Ashes is a uh, artistic healing experience. It was developed out of the real life, a dramatization of the real life journey between my son and I and our reconciliation process to um, heal a fragmented relationship. Uh, at the age of, when my son was two years old and I was 21 years old, I was incarcerated for a 14 year period in which time I was out of his life. And he and I had limited contact throughout that time, so we did not have an actual uh, opportunity to bond and build a uh, father-son relationship. Uh, out of the ashes, if we try to kind of use like the golden circle type of model, how, why, what. So out of the ashes is a, um, it's a, a artistic healing experience that we developed it to be able to help family members to fix our fragmented relationships. My son and I, we are both entrepreneurial spirit, and he and I, we were searching for something to do together, and something that would help us, that would be uh, beneficial to the community. And we were kind of looking around outside of ourselves, and then one day we walked back to the branding line, and we decided that why not do something based on our life, because our uh, true life experience has been remarkable. Uh, and what we've done is we've taken our family, my wife, um, Patty Harris, who's not up here today, she's actually a, uh, event planner and a uh, coordinator. And one of our other sons is a, um, uh, goodness gracious, a um, theater major at a um, performing arts school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And so we kind of, we wanted to present our um, story in a way that was palpable to the people and not just have a regular talk. And so what we did was we created Out of the Ashes and we presented it as a three part uh, presentation Again, we wanted to make sure that we uh, touch on some of the things that would be helpful and beneficial to our community. We want to bear our scars so that other people may be able to heal. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't take the time to really uh, reevaluate the relationships and um, to be able to heal those wounds and things. Um, I would like to have Amar speak a little bit more about his experience as being a child of an incarcerated parent. So, um, being two years old, obviously, you don't recognize it at the time, but as you start to get a little bit older, you know, nine, ten, you start to see other kids um, do and enjoy different things with their father, it starts to kind of click that, hey, where's my dad? Um, especially when you start to get 16, 17, well, 15, 16 years old, and luckily that's when he came home, um, you really start to notice that boy. So what we've done with Out of the Ashes is we put together a four-part presentation, um, formatted like a play. The first act is my dad, and he goes through, it's a monologue, he's on stage by himself, and he goes through his younger years, up and through his incarceration. The second act is me, and I come out and I get the perspective of a young child, huh? and I go through from being two to being 16 in the different perspectives and the different understandings and the different, uh, the different, the different things that you start to recognize and feel as you go through this journey. Um, the third part is my father and I, we have a, um, we reenact the conversation that we had when he came home, right out in front, in front of everyone, pretty much like we're doing now. We'll sit down at a table and we'll have a conversation so everybody can kind of see what reconciliation looks like. On um, the fourth part of the Q&A with the audience, we allow the audience to share different testimonials um, and feedback about the play and different things that they've experienced with their father. Just because we opened so many doors and we're so transparent, a lot of people get the courage to kind of stand up and share, and it's almost therapeutic for the audience. Right. And just uh, to highlight some of the challenges with um, Out of the Ashes, as you can see, I kind of struggle a little bit with identifying exactly what it is. We say it's a, when we present it to people, we say it's a play, but it's really not a play. It's not a, a makeup script. This is our real life and our real life experiences. Um, the things that I'm not proud of, I'm not proud of being a, um, abandoning my son. You know, that's nothing to be proud of. Um, unfortunately, we live in a society, and particularly in the city, where this is uh, commonplace. So, and it's, it's one of those things that needs to be addressed. You know, um, we assume a lot of times we hear different things from incarcerated people, but we don't oftentimes hear the perspective of the children and validate their feelings 
and understand the challenges that they go through. You know, my son very well could be, he's 23 years old, he very well could be a problem out here in the community as we have in these cases. Um, just want to highlight some of the challenges and opportunities real quick with Out of the Ashes. Some of the challenges, obviously, is um, capitalization. We're working on a uh, shoestring budget, you know what I mean? Trying to sell a few tickets to get the next venue, to get the next venue, to kind of get the message out. Uh, we have some, definitely have some technical challenges with uh, getting uh, some of our graphic work done. Um, and, excuse me? Audio visual challenges as well. We had some challenges there with, um, we presented that theater in. And, and also um, trying to really promote and get the event outside of the, um, outside of this geographic area. And I'm also going to highlight some of the opportunities with Out of the Action. Um, so the opportunities really is, we have a, um, a model that allows us to essentially change the community, one, one child and one parent at a time. So what I end up happening is we'll be able to, our, our goal is to help bring families whole um, and help increase people's quality of life because my life is significantly better after I build a relationship with my father. That, and, um, another opportunity, and we spoke about it from the beginning all the way through, is just authenticity. So there's no substitute for an authentic experience that people can relate to, people can feel. And um, that's it. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.